What's up everybody, welcome back to another video. My name's Corey with Freaky Tall Reviews where we do short reviews for tall people. Today we have another installment of Freaky Tech Reviews because Secret Labs sent over their 2020 Titan XL gaming chair for me to review. So let's get started. So I'm pumped about today's video because I've always known about Secret Lab products from seeing them sponsor most of the larger esports competitions with their chairs. Secret Lab sent me this chair to review, but I am not sponsored by them at all, so my feedback will be honest and straightforward. This is a chair I've had an eye on for a while, specifically because of the height and weight capacities. The recommended size for using the Titan XL is 5'11 to 6'10 and up to 390 pounds. I myself am 6'10 inches and 350 pounds, so today I'll be testing to make sure it holds up to the X XL standards. This chair is the 2020 edition, but Secret Lab just came out with a 2022 Evo XL chair that has similar size capacities. Lastly, it comes in around $500, so today we'll be making sure that it's worth the price. In this video, we will be unboxing the chair, putting it together, and then testing and providing my review. So if you want to skip through unboxing and assembly, then check out the timestamps in the description below, and you can skip to those sections. I will also be doing an update video in a few weeks once I've been able to thoroughly use this chair, so be sure to subscribe to the channel and click the notification notification button so you can see when that update video comes out. The box this chair came in is pretty sizable, so make sure you have the ability to receive it when purchasing. The unboxing experience is a lot more pleasant than I expected. Secret Lab did a great job making sure you feel like you're opening a premium product. Even the tool set the chair comes with was nicely packaged and well presented. Once you open the box, you get a very large instruction panel at the top showing you how to build the chair. And then you have a, a nicely packaged backrest, a head cushion, a box of wheels and the hydraulic piston, the wheelbase, the chair seat, and a tilt mechanism. Assembly is actually super easy with this chair. You start by inserting wheels into the base, then you insert the hydraulic piston into the wheelbase with the smaller end pointing up. Next, you take the backrest and unscrew the screws on each side with the hex key. Once that's completed, then you take the protective sleeves off the seat and slide the backrest down onto the right side bar. Once you have that locked in, then you line up the left side and reinsert the screws. Note, it is normal for the chair to be leaning back like this, and I'll get to why that is in a moment. Next, you take the two magnetic side covers and just pop them onto the sides to cover where you just inserted the screws. Next, you use the screwdriver that comes with the chair to take out the red plastic screw, and that unlocks the reclining feature. The reason it was leaning back is because it allows you to properly position the backrest with the seat. Next, lay the chair carefully on its front and then install the tilt mechanism. Note, don't do what I did and install it backwards the hydraulic piston mechanism should be at the back of the chair and the adjustment knob towards the front. Once you complete this, then insert the wheelbase into the piston and carefully turn the chair upright using the weight of the chair to secure it into the piston. And you're done. Total time took me about 30 minutes, so it's really not bad at all. I've seen this chair a lot online, and of course, like I said, I see it in all the eSport competitions, uh, but you never know how good it really is. Is it one of those things that's super hyped up? This chair's presentation quality, just out of the box, was really, really nice. If you compare it to my current chair, which I've done a video on in the past, the feel of the material of the chair is a lot nicer, and you can just tell the quality is better. This chair actually sits higher, and it is overall just a little bit bigger than my original chair. The quality of the material, like I said, is very good, and it impressed me, and it's super comfortable to sit in. Even even though when I first walked up to it, I was thinking, I don't know if that's gonna be big enough for me. It actually ended up being fantastic. Even when leaning back in the chair, it feels super sturdy and secure. So I don't really sit in my chairs leaning back like this. So I expect that I'll get a lot of life out of this chair simply because I'm not gonna be too hard on it. The armrests feel very sturdy when you push off of them to stand up, which I think as a bigger person, 350 pounds, that's important to be able to push off of them, right? And then the seat does not squeeze my hips like other chairs do and it's nice and wide. As well as the seat depth is also great for longer legs and it's like my butt to the back of my knee fits really well for my legs there. The backrest comes with the adjustable lumbar knob, which feels great. And overall, I think the ergonomics for a bigger and taller person actually fit really well with this chair. And that's why they say that it can fit people up to 6'10". So with the price tag and having Excel in the name, I did have high expectations. So the big question is, does it get the Freaky Tall stamp of approval? Yes. 
Absolutely. This chair is fantastic and lives up to the hype. Uh, between the quality of the material, how well it fits, the presentation, and, and just how quickly you can put it together, this was a great experience and I highly recommend this chair to anyone that's big and tall. If you've made it this far into the video, please consider subscribing. Most of the viewers on my channel are not subscribed at all, so please join the Freaky Tall family, click the little notification icon, and give it a thumbs up. Also, be sure to check out my Instagram and my Twitter where I share behind the scenes stuff going on at Freaky Tall Studios. And if you're interested in supporting the channel financially, be sure to check out the Patreon page. On Patreon, I use the funds to save up for new products to review. So if you wanna to contribute to that, that would be super cool. As always, it's been a pleasure having you here and I appreciate your time. I'm Corey with Freaky Tech Reviews. We'll see you next time.